we're gonna test shoulder mobility. For this one, we're gonna actually have, uh, first thing we gotta do is we gotta actually start off with measuring uh, the size of Janelle's hand. You can just do this with you know, any ruler at home. Go ahead and just, we're gonna go from essentially, let's get kind of a shot there. We're gonna put that ruler essentially right on the heel of her hand, right up to the fingertip, and we can see that Janelle's clearly gonna be a seven on the stick here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Janelle spin around, and she's gonna put her arms out in a big old T. She's gonna tuck her thumbs inside her hands. That's just gonna make it easier for me. And then what she's gonna do is she's gonna basically put uh, left hand over, right hand under, and where they naturally stop. So she's not gonna try to force the two together. Where do they stop? And of course we wanna make sure that there's no pain. If there's any pain on any assessment, it's always gonna be a zero. Okay, but we know Janelle has no pain here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna measure. Okay, and we're looking for the distance. And essentially she's coming up as an eight and a half. Okay, and that's how we measure. Now typically we'll give them a two or three tries to see if it changes. So we'll go ahead and give her one more shot there, see if it changes. Okay, and it's pretty much the same. Okay, so we know that she's gonna be an eight and a half in terms of the distance on, uh, on that side. Now what does that mean? When we look at the scoring, we had said that her hand was a seven. Okay, so the way you score is a one would be if we took the hand length and multiplied it by 1.5, seven times 1.5 would be 10 and a half. If the distance between your two hands was 10 and a half or greater, that would be scored as a one. If the distance is gonna be in between the hand length and the 10 and a half, okay, so the, the seven and the 10 and a half, and you'll see this on your FMS score sheet, then she'd fall in and she'd be a two. So she was an eight, eight and a half. So she's obviously in between seven and 10 and a half. She's gonna be a two. If the distance was really close and it was less than the length of her hand, a seven, then she would go ahead and score a three, okay? So once again, you'll see it on your FMS score sheet. Her hand length was a seven. Her 1.5 length was a 10. Below seven would be a three. Between seven and 10 and a half would be a two. 10 and a half and above would be a one. Now, when we score, we always want to err on the side of being a little bit more safe. So when you, when you land on a number, okay, so 10 and a half, that's still going to score as a one. So think of like, you know, from seven to, you know, 10 and just under a half, that's going to be a two. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the other side and see if we are even. Go ahead. Okay, so the hand's going to land right there. And we're going to see that she's about a nine. Okay, we'll give her another shot there. So there's a little bit of a difference, but not enough to necessarily matter. We might pay attention to that in, you know, in more individualized training. Okay, and she's now yeah, about a nine again. So both arms are falling, or both shoulders for mobility are falling within that two zone. Okay, so Janelle's gonna score a pair of twos on her shoulder mobility. Now, before we finish off the shoulder mobility, we're gonna have Janelle spin around because we can actually negate the shoulder mobility score if we discover an impingement. Okay, so first thing we're gonna have Janelle do is we're gonna have her to put her right hand, okay, the heel of her hand right on her shoulder and she can just kind of cup that shoulder and she's just gonna push up on that hand. Nope. Any pain? No pain. Okay, other side. Any pain? Nope. No pain. Okay, a lot of times what we'll, we'll discover is actually a shoulder impingement that you didn't even know you had just by doing that test right there. So if she did score pain, Okay, that would immediately negate whatever score she had and automatically turn it into a zero. And that's something that we're actually gonna to wanna to refer out. If you find pain in a simple test like this, an impingement, and don't be a hero, you feel it. I'm not talking about muscle tightness or soreness, but usually it's gonna be a kind of a sharper pain or a dull ache. Okay, if you feel pain there, then you're definitely gonna to wanna to see a physical therapist and you're gonna to wanna to avoid any exercises that are kind of coded to shoulder mobility.